Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruchach Horash. One of your double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect brethren across the four corners of the earth, man, who have received this this uh, uh, this truth, all right, this faith, which is a gift from the Heavenly Father through His Son Yahweh Shai, man, all right. All right, the men who understand the will of the Heavenly Father, because those are going to be the ones that endure unto the end, man. Okay? Knowing that they're going to have to be persecuted, knowing there are going to be certain sacrifices and things they're going to have to suffer through to obtain the kingdom, man. Okay? But this is all the will of the Heavenly Father, and through the Spirit, that's what I want to go into, man. All right, being that we have a greater reward, okay, if we fight through these afflictions and the things that are coming, man. Okay, and that's part of counting the cost. When we first came into this thing, we heard about the sweetness of the word, man. All right, but we understood, man, uh, and, and further down the line, the more experience you gain, your understanding grows even more. But we understood that there were certain things that we were going to have to go through to receive this reward, man. Okay, which is salvation. Okay. And ultimately, uh, the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, we want to make it the first go around. All of Israel is going to be saved, man. But we want to make it onto that chariot the first go around and, and, and get to see the, the fall of Babylon, man. All right? Get to see the fall of our enemy, man. Okay? So, uh, Lord willing, there'll be some edification in this video. And uh, I just wanted to go into this uh, through the Spirit, man, and just uh, uh, show throughout the scriptures you had the men of the Lord who, uh, who were focused on the reward, man. Okay? And the perfect example is Yahweh Shai. Okay, he knew that he had to do the will of his father, not what he wanted to do. Because if he did that, there would be a reward in itself uh, uh, by serving the Heavenly Father. Okay, so this is the book of John, chapter 5 and verse 30. It says, I am, I can of my own, mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. And this is in red letters. This is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai speaking, man. All right, he's saying that he's not doing his own will. He's fulfilling the will of his Father, man. Okay, and what did he have to accept and come to terms with? He knew that he would have to be sacrificed, all right? Have go through a gruesome, uh, uh, horrifying sac uh, 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 crucifixion, okay, in the flesh. All right, because that was part of the will of of, of uh, the most high power. OK, now we have to be in that same mind frame in these times and understand that to receive a greater reward, we're going to have to suffer through afflictions, man. All right, we're going to have to bear our cross. We're going to have to deal with certain things that's not going to be pleasing unto the flesh, man. OK, but this is all part of, of, of us being tested by the heavenly father to make sure we are approved in his eyes, man. OK. Another precept, this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, and starting at 14, it says, Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, man. So when the Lord, Yahweh Shai, called unto us, man, what did he do? He awoke us up from a, a dead sleep, man, a dead state, man, okay? And did what? Gave us his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay? Now it said what? Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, man, okay? So what's the only way you're going to do that? By understanding the will of the Heavenly Father and walking according to the guidelines that he set in place, okay? Verse 16, it says, Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Wherefore, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, man. So that's what we have to obtain and understand what the will of the Heavenly Father is versus what our flesh wants. All right, well, what we are, uh, our little vain opinions might uh, see fit, man. It don't matter at the end of the day because we have the scriptures and everything is right here. All the answers have been provided, man. Okay? We just have to appreciate, first of all, the, the spiritual rewards that we're receiving on this side, man. Okay? And look at the overall picture that at the end of this thing, the things that we suffer through, the things that we give up are in nowhere in comparison unto the reward that's to come. Okay, this is a uh, Psalm chapter 19 and verse uh, starting at verse nine. It says the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. 
The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yeah, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping them there is a great reward, man. All right, so we understand that, man. We appreciate and recognize the fear of the Lord, man. All right, and by walking in a righteous um, manner, according to the Heavenly Father's will, all right, these are the things that we should desire more than gold, honey, all right? The sweetest things you could imagine, man, all right? You should desire the fear of the Lord, which is going to drive you to walk accordingly more than anything, man, okay? Because what it is saying, verse 11, it's a point. I want to read it one more time. It says, moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And in, in, in keeping of them, there is a uh, there is great reward, man. All right. So starting off by us following the law, statutes, and commandments and faith and sincerity, what's going to happen, man? We're rewarded with an increase of knowledge and we're laboring in this word, man. Okay recognizing that this is not it man okay while the rest of uh uh jake is caught up on the uh, uh esau's kingdom and feeling like this is the only way of life that there's no nothing better could be given to us outside of america which is all bullshit but now you're seeing that being right wiped away uh um by this coronavirus man all right even your, your, your top jakes, man, amongst your actors and your, your uh, uh, sports entertainers, man, they receiving uh, uh, catching this coronavirus as well, man. Regardless if it's a hoax or whatnot, man, at the end of this thing, uh, you're seeing that the rewards that can be given here uh, in Babylon can be taken away at any given moment, man. Okay? But the reward that we're seeking is everlasting, man. It can be taken away, all right? This is something that's going to endure forever. OK, and we rejoice in the fact that we're going to be persecuted. We rejoice in the fact that people are going to come up against us, man. That shows that we're doing something right. If the world is set in opposition against us, man. OK, it's, uh, Matthew chapter five and we'll start at 10. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. And that's the thing, man. OK, you, 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 you it's, it's a blessing to be persecuted in a wicked kingdom for being righteous man and standing up for yahweh why yahweh shy okay it says for theirs is the kingdom of heaven man that's when i we gonna uh, have our turn man okay that's when we're gonna get to sit on top where's when we're gonna get to rest and enjoy the, the uh the earth man all right and the rest of the planet as well that which are waiting for us to inhabit it man okay we're not worried about this kingdom because this place is going down and it's evident now man all right, we're waiting on the kingdom of heaven. Okay, verse 11. It says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all, man say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And this is the, the Lord, our Lord Yahweh Shah speaking, man. All right, so he's letting you know that don't worry about what happens on this side, man. If you stand up for righteousness, all the things that's going to come against you are, uh, are because you're standing boldly, man. All right, for the scriptures, as the men of the Lord have always done and what's happened, man, they've been pursued unto death, man. They've been persecuted. They've been hated. Why? For standing for uh, standing up for Yahweh Shai. Okay, verse uh, 12, it says, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. And that's what we're seeking our reward, man. Okay? We know that ultimately, man, the, the, our physical rewards, our salvation is what we, uh, we, we're waiting on, man. All right, and that's gonna come when the kingdom of heaven is brought uh, uh, to the earth and righteousness headed by Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, "For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you, man." Okay, and you saw the, the through the faith of the men of the Lord the things that the uh, the Most High uh, did for them, man. Okay, now how much more uh, is that gonna uh, partake in this go around? Being that this is the last captivity, man. This is the last time we're going to have to be under one of our enemies, man. Okay? This is the last test right here, man. All right? Why? Because now we're approaching the mark of the beast, man, which is the microchip. Okay? So you make it through that, this is going to be a great reward if you endure through that, man. And we know it's all, uh, this is all a thing of faith, man. All right? The elect is going to endure. The elect is going to deny the chip, man. Okay? Whether it be uh, uh, being a mortal for you, how we shy. 
all right, getting spiritual powers or whatever end it be, all right, the elect is going to endure until the end, okay, and be rewarded. And nothing can go against that, man, or nothing can be compared to that, okay? Knowing that it's finally over, man. Ain't no more, uh, 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 like here in Babylon, you get a, a little week off of work, and then all of a sudden, it's shit Monday morning, you back on the clock, man. No, we ain't, won't have no more servi uh, servitude uh, uh, to our enemies, man. Okay? We can actually enjoy life. We can actually learn how to, we'll, well, not learn, but we'll know how to live. Why? Because we'll be uh, uh, in perfection, man. Okay? So, uh, real quick, um, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, now he that planted and he that watereth are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor, man. So it's all about what we're doing on this side, man. What, what Are you laboring for righteousness? Are you laboring in this wicked world uh, uh, that Esau have created, man? Okay. But if you partaking in the, the um, adding anything positive to this ministry, all right, in any form, then you're gonna receive of your of your your labor, man. Your reward is gonna uh, reward is gonna be of your labor, man. And that's what we're seeking, man. To be a member of the Most High uh, uh, Son Yahweh Shai's elect, okay, okay. To to prophesy against this place, to stand boldly, all right. Uh, minister uh, uh, unto the nation of Israel, okay, and mainly the elect as of right now, okay. But we're still we're speaking to all Israel, making sure that even the ones that's not right. We get their blood off our hands, man. Okay, but the focal point is the elect, man, because those are the ones are focused on a greater reward, which is going to come through salvation, man, and the promises of the scriptures, man. All right, and understanding that there's a process to get to those that rewards. You can't just uh, um, jump shift and all of a sudden you're standing in line waiting on a reward, man. No, you're going to have to go through the fire. You're going to have to be tested. Okay. So it's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17. It says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. All right. So I'm going to read that one more time. It says, For our light affliction. And so it's already letting you know, man, that the affliction that we're facing is going to be light compared to what we uh, uh, have waiting on us if we endure. Okay. It says, Which is but for a moment and it's temporary. All right, the affliction is not going to last forever, man. All right, even when things uh, uh, hit its pinnacle here in Babylon uh, concerning the prophets of the Lord, things that Most High is going to speed, and he's already doing it. But when 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 martial law really uh, hits its uh, full potential, okay, when uh, they rounding uh, uh, brothers up, the Most High is going to speed this thing up, man, and send his son back to, uh, to deliver his elect. Okay, it says, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are, are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, all right, they won't last forever, but the things which are not seen are eternal, and those things that are not seen, those eternal things are the rewards that we're uh, seeking, man, okay, that's why we're willing to sacrifice, uh, 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 your family and houses and time, your weekends, all right? F all these bullshit ass FRNs, all the things that Jake uh, uh, latches on to here in Babylon, we uh, have given up, man, all right? Because we know that this is all temporary, man. And there's a greater reward that's going to be eternal, man. Okay? So uh, just with that saying, I want to grab this last scripture. This is uh, Romans chapter 10. And starting at verse Salakia. Jump to the wrong book. Con, this is uh the book of Mark, chapter 10, and starting at verse 29. It says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels. Okay. And and that's one and the same, man. Okay. Not on no Trinity bullshit. All right. But the Yahweh Shai is the word, man. He comes in the volume of the book, man. Okay. But what is the gospel? The good news, man. 
All right, and where do we find that in these scriptures, man? All right, and all the good news is the things that we're waiting on, man. All right, the prophecy being fulfilled, all right, in itself, man. Okay, this place coming into an end, that's a reward in itself, man. Getting vengeance on our enemies. Let me read on. It says, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands which uh, with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life, man. Okay. So that's the part. That's the greater reward, man. Eternal life, living in perfection under the law, statutes, commandments of the heavenly father, man. Okay. When you have that understanding, which can, which can only be given through you, how shy, are you willing to, uh, to, uh, so-called forsake your family, man? You're willing to lead a plain life, man. You're living, willing to, to cast off all that old nigga that, uh, dwelled in wickedness, man. Okay. Because you understand that everything that you put off a sacrifice on this side, that you're going to receive a hundredfold and, uh, with eternal life, man. All right. That's a greater reward with work suffering for it, man so we just had to continue enduring all right if we be of the elect we'll make it unto the end man okay and be delivered out of this place man okay and be the ones to see the rewards come into fruition the first go around man okay so i'm gonna end it on that man i will retire that was some edification in this video to the most highs elect and whomever they uh watch this uh lesson okay so uh, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rachakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and peace and blessings unto the Most High's elect. Shalom.